Good morning, everyone. All right. First John, chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits for the day of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Whereby know ye the spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Okay. Oftentimes there's ministers and people that believe in God. We have spirits coming on us at night. Give us messages, you know. <laughs> but they say nothing about God. So it's a message. So if you're a prophet, um, you may feel like, oh, you know, God told me, mm -mm. sometimes it's just a spirit. Okay. Know that. Okay. They call them, some of them they call spirit guides and stuff like that. You know, but just know that it's not God. Because they ain't coming to my God. One even came so, so bad to where it tried to make me bow down. Man, you know, look at it like, yeah, what? So, check this out. Here's um, John 16, verse 13. Head back. When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whosoever he shall hear. But, mm -mm, but whatsoever he shall hear, there shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me. For he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father had are mine. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and show, and shall show it unto you. A little while, and ye shall not see me. And again, a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go unto the Father. So then that's when we get into Revelations. We're talking about the churches and Jesus returned with no with no number, no man can number. This is in the book of Revelations. So you get you to help you with the King James Version. You can get you an English King James Version. If you want to read that first, or read um Gillian's, you know. I read Gillian's to be able to do Revelations. And then from there you can read King James Version Revelations. Okay? Now Let's look at uh, 14th chapter of St. John. This is for people that are, want to be saved. That want to be saved and confess Jesus as their Savior. Okay. Let's, let's go here. Okay. It says 11. Be believe me that I am in the Father. In the Father in me. Or else believe me for... The very works, my for the very works sake. Verily I say unto you, that he believed on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go to my father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither know of him, but ye know him, for he dwells with you, and shall be in you. And I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. And at that day, ye shall know that I am in the Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Let's go to the beginning. This is him doing with Thomas. And Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest. And how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but, but by me. That's why you don't need to mess with these spirits. Try and bow. Don't mess with them. 
Let them, let them leave the message. Just don't mess with me. Continue to pray. Ask God to keep you. Anyone who likes to give their life to the Lord, this is a good time to do it now. Continue to pray. Continue, continue, continue. And remember what I just told you. Amen.